Hi guys, it's Brian again. Um, this one, this episode is going to be about Borka. Um, and I'll go a little bit into the history of Borka and um, talk about things. For the most part, I'm actually happy with some of the changes in Borka. So uh, there won't be a lot. Uh, I think we really should uh, address the history and probably keep it, but um, I'm okay with uh, Ivana's uh, bore size uh, new new changes, um, and I think it will be easy to actually uh, do for uh, mixing both uh, the old stuff and the new stuff. Um, originally, in the original box set, uh, Borka used to be two different. Uh, countries. One was Borka and the other one was Do Dovinia, I think. Uh, one had uh, Ivana and one had Ivan. And then the Grand Conjunction happened because of Aslan and they got scared and they were close before they became Dark Lords. So Ivan and Ivana ran to each other and for comfort. And then the Grand Conjunction ended and it melded into one country. So uh, then it became ruled by the Dark Twins, Ivan and Ivana. Uh, they both pretty much have the, had the same powers at that time. Uh, they both were basically poisoners. Um, I believe that this was more of uh, based on uh, even though they have Slavic names uh, more Italian uh, Renaissance, maybe a little bit earlier than that. I uh, think uh, Lucrezia Borgia, uh, Borgia and Borga, Borca is pretty close. Uh, so that's w what they were thinking. Uh, the current one mo has moved Ivana from being Lucrezia Borgia to being uh, Poison Ivy from Batman. I'm not sure if I like that slight change, but I do like her personality better. Um, her curse originally was that she basically poisoned anybody she touched, and that did decrease her ability to interact with other people because she simply couldn't touch other people. So that was uh, very limiting. Ivan could touch people but he could also make poison at will he also was an actor uh, mostly in his head and he would pretend to act uh, and he would host plays and stuff in his place and if they didn't follow what he said he'd kill them and he killed lots of people and he was a uh, he's pretty insane uh, third edition pointed out that when a violent Ivana slept all her uh, veins would swell her tongue would protrude and she would look like somebody that she had poisoned and even but that was when she slept when she didn't sleep her uh, fingernails and lips were a sickly pale of blue so the whole vein thing did have a uh, original uh, there was a reason for it, uh, the, what they did currently. Uh, and uh, Ivan also had in his castle a bunch of things that were kind of torture devices that were also play devices. So their uh, take of him currently did have some actual background to it. Um, Interestingly enough, her personality, Ivana, was the seductress who would seduce people, marry them, and kill them. Uh, apparently, you know, that doesn't happen in real life, so they decided to cut that and um, go with her being just uh, being uh, looked down upon for being a woman. Uh, interestingly enough, her current personality is more like the personality of uh, uh, what's her name in uh, Rich Malou, uh, the where we're at lady, 
Jacqueline uh, Renault and vice versa so they swap their personalities for fifth edition I'm not sure why uh, maybe uh, some of the people creating uh, uh, the thing felt closer to uh, Ivana Borisai and kind of saw themselves in her shoes I don't know but that's what they did so it's not that big of a change I would say during the gap between the two editions, third and fifth, because there wasn't a fourth edition, although I think there was a uh, a Estrada adventure in fourth edition, I'm not sure. Uh, we can basically say she give she has given up because her thing was that she was looking for actual love and she wasn't finding it because she would poison everything. We can say that she gave up on that, and so her curse, rather than just ending there, switched over. So it uh, manifested in her face and stuff, and we just switched over from her giving up on love to doing uh, the what is currently. Uh, for Ivan, that's really weird, because Ivan was a lot more dynamic he was in charge of the secret police and the military uh, Falkovia actually invaded them and started killing people he disguised himself as a Falkovian uh, soldier snuck in and poisoned the entire army and then snuck out and so that was the kind of thing Ivan would be able to do and now he's kind of limited to being a man-child in a pram so I really don't like how they did Ivan because he was a, a lot more dynamic than what they have him now. Um, but again, he did do some mechanical things. And Ivana wasn't aging due to the curse. And he actually was. And, and third edition did mention this quite a bit. Uh, so we could say that he, he's aging to the point maybe where... He is not focusing on being very, very active in things. And he's keeping things to a minimum. And then go from there. Uh, History-wise, Borka actually was not Ivana's original realm. It was a realm of her mother, Camilla. Who was very bitter and hated men. Because she was uh, cheated on by her husband. And she used her bitterness to kind of get of, of Ivana where she is. Um, so I don't think we should give that up. I think that should be still part of the, domain, uh, the history. Um, the other thing is the new series talks about uh, an assassin who who's, has poison in her veins. Well, there was... Uh, Ivana ri originally created an entire class of monsters that were poisonous to touch. Now, these monsters were immune to poison except from the touch of the other people of that type of monster. Um, it's this long, it's like a mug of dung, I don't know, I don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, so, but that exists in the current one with... Uh, uh, on one of the side things and you could technically make that into a monster class and you could possibly curse one of the players with that that being said those people can't touch other people even their own kind because their poison kills them anyway that's all I have to say about Borka I really like Borka it's a very capitalistic society it is based on capitalism to the point where you, if you're not part of the upper class you're almost enslaved due to the um, the capitalism and being like a uh, a you're not even a serf you're more like a um, uh, debted s slave to them via debt so um, there's indentured servant. So you're either an upper class or an indentured servant there. And that's kind of interesting. So 
I do like Borka. Uh, I hope we do use it a lot more. Again, I think it should be part of a Renaissance culture uh, cluster. And uh, I, I don't mind how Ivana has turned out. I'm a little more disappointed with Ivan, but as he's getting older, I mean, he is aging. And so he probably would be like over 100 at this point. So maybe that's okay. Anyway, uh, that's all for this episode. I'll cover the carnival in the next one. And thank you.